now let's continue our uh, blog archive page design here so if i go to patterns here you can see a lot of patterns right so if i let's let's type here blog and see if is there any pattern for blog there is a few patterns for blog but i'm not sure exactly if it's uh, created dynamically or not okay and recent creative post i think it's not uh, following the uh, dynamic features from the loop and uh, that's uh, using here query loop well uh, that's not an issue at all we can uh, remove the post excerpt I, I'm, I'm really not happy with the post excerpt result here and uh, i can change the post date from here so i think if i start from scratch uh, i could create a better design uh, let's uh, let's uh, see let's remove this one also well and in this column there is a post title and if i choose h2 the system font is currently is using h2 and the uh, h2 it doesn't seems to be h2 there should be semi bold let's make it uh, more beautiful here source serif pro and then change the font size to 36 pixel px but somehow it doesn't take my value here the custom size is not working it's very strange <laughs> okay i'm not sure why it doesn't work but it should work at least it should respect okay the size is 36 pixel but it's not working as expected let's reset the margin and let's change it to h1 h2 let's take a look at here if i just change to h2 and see it looks like this okay no problem we can use custom code but currently the post title is not uh, following the custom uh, font size from here so we can keep it as this way well now let's click on dimension go to margin and add zero and see if it's also following the margin from here or not okay it's not following here also so we can add other information here let's add author post author save and see how it looks the post author looks like this and you can change the author view you can remove the avatar from here you can show the author bio as well you can change the typography and if i insert after it's directly add here but if i just change the view and if i add a row here i can add other information let's add a row an inside row add author then here you can add category or post categories it's on categories as of now and hide the avatar delete the previous author that i have added so there's a lot of opportunity there's a lot of thing that you can play around with the post options but due to the free version as of now there is some limitation you can also add another one the post date click save 
and reload the page here so now as you can see we have added our category we have added our author name we have added our post date here as well now if i go to our editor and i would like to remove the author and i would like to keep the uncategorized so that means the category and the date i can add also separator here so i can change the separator to dots i can change whatever i want but it's not uh, going useful from here at, as of now i'd like to remove the separator and there is other things that you can uh, play around here you can uh, if i click over here and navigate to the design or the theme here you can see the side uh, query loop inside the query loop you have uh, added a, you can edit a lot of options you can add uh, terms descriptions you can add uh, archive title po author biography and also you can add post tags as well let's add okay excerpt post excerpt and let's play around with the post excerpt a little bit and see how it works read more so i can add also a custom read more and this is how it looks so i, I really like these features because you have the full opportunity that you can change you can create you can do whatever you want and i'm just using here a random template you can add anything inside the query loop instead using post template you can choose your uh, you can create your own custom template so instead creating here you can create your own template you can add your own custom style here it's very useful and in the next part i'm not going to spend so much time here uh, because there is still a couple of bugs here the title uh, is still not working and hopefully wordpress will fix them uh, very soon and currently i'm not going to be spending so much time here uh, i would like to uh, build the single post page comment section and other section and then uh, complete this project uh, with the contact page as well